Hey, good morning, everyone. Hopefully you can see my face. If not, I apologize. Um, but I'm doing this quick uh, super clip video on how to drain a Foley or catheter drainage bag, okay? Um, and this is according to best practice. Um, as always, I like to bring, you know, an extra pair of gloves, but usually you'll only need uh, one pair of gloves, but I like, you know, no matter what type of nursing task um, I have at hand, I always like to bring an extra pair of gloves just in case, right? Um, and then you're going to need two alcohol wipes, um, a measuring container or urinal, uh, depending on what you want to measure it in. Um, you can have either a wash or bath basin to place um, underneath the drainage bag or if you're like me you know you don't want to squat and empty you actually want to you know get on the floor to do this you want a protective covering on the floor and here I've placed a chucks um, underneath the drainage bag and also um, for me to kneel on right because I do not want to get my clothes contaminated so if you're going to kneel on the floor you want to make sure that you have the protective covering um, underneath, okay, or on the floor so you won't, um, you know, contaminate your clothes. And in this case, this chucks is serving um, twofold. It's serving to catch um, any urine that may spill out while I'm emptying the drainage bag and also um, for infection control so I will not contaminate my clothes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just put on a pair of gloves. And I always tell people, look, before you, I'm, I'm going to take this um, off of this uh, bed frame. Um, if I always tell people, look, before you pull this loop out, you want to make sure that this clamp is closed okay it's secure because if you pull it out and the clamp is open um, you're going to get urine all over the place okay and more specifically it may splash on you and you don't want that right so just check to make sure that the clamp is closed um, and then you can go ahead and pull out the loop all right so i'm going to go and put this back on the bed frame so i can work with both hands and as you see, I'm kneeling on the chuck, so I'm not contaminating my clothes. So once I, I'm going to go ahead and open up. In this case, I'm using a urinal. Um, anything that has measurements on it is considered a graduate, right? Um, so you can use um, a hat. You can use, um, an, you know, any type of measuring container that has measurements on it, especially if the person is on eyes and nose, right? So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, my urinal or measuring container. I'm going to, I've already checked, the clamp is good to go. I'm going to take one alcohol wipe and I'm going to wipe around the tip of the tube, the drainage bag tube. Don't wipe on the inside, just wipe around it on the outside, okay? And now I'm going to go ahead and place the tube without touching. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see this. Let me put it this way. I'm making sure that the tube is not touching the container. Okay, because once it touches the container, it's contaminated. And so you'll want to um, actually wipe it off again with alcohol. So now what I'm going to do is open up the clamp. See if I can get this bad boy opened here. And you can see, I hope, hopefully you all can see the urine is draining from the bag now. And I'm just going to tilt the bag over a little bit so I can get all the, try to get as much urine out as I can. And it's draining. And whenever you hold it, you want to make sure you hold the tube up, okay? Don't hold it slanted. You hold it slanted again you're going to get urine all over the place okay and i think that it's drained as much as it could i'm just going to milk it a little bit 
just by tapping the back of the drainage bag. Once I do that, I'm going to close my container, right? Because I don't want any accidents. So I'm going to close my container, move it out the way here. I'm going to take my second alcohol wipe. And now I'm going to clean around the outside of the tube. Okay, I've clamped it. Okay, remember to reclamp it and then place the tubing back into the holder. All right, and there you go. That's how you empty a, ur a urinary drainage bag, okay? And then of course, if the person is on I's and O's, you wanna place this on uh, the measuring container, usually maybe, you know, on the bathroom sink, but make sure you place a clean barrier down before you do so. Um, it needs to be on a hard level surface. You're gonna get at eye level uh, to measure the urine and then, uh, you know, wash your hands and record um, your measurement, okay? And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed. Ciao.